Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulli and you are watching Niche How. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Git on Microsoft Windows 10. So this is a new website for Git for Windows. You simply go to gitforwindows.org and you can download it from here. However, the old website, which is git sc m.com is still available if you want you can get it from here as well okay so simply go ahead and if you are on microsoft windows 10 7 8 whatever system type it is 32 bit or 64 bit as soon as you land on this website it's going to determine your system type and operating system version as well okay so what do you have to do you simply have to click on this download at this moment it's going to be 2.240.0 for microsoft windows 10 so you can download it from here simply click this download button and this is going to go to this windows uh, git scmcom slash window uh, download slash win and this is going to detect your operating system okay so and system type as well so you simply go ahead and locate where you want to save this file I'm going to save it on the desktop and hit save however I already have downloaded one so I'll give you a few more tips how you can get the right one for your system so in case if it is not able to identify your system type you can go ahead and download for 32-bit system type, 64-bit system type as well. If you want to port this Git to another system, like another system where there is no internet connection, you can get 32-bit portable Git by down clicking on this link, 64-bit portable Git by clicking on this link okay so that's where you can get git for your system however if you go to this website you can click on this download button and if you just scroll down you'll see a lot of things being released for microsoft windows 10 uh, windows users okay so you can click on this download button and this is going to get you to this get hub page and you'll get the same thing okay 2.24.0 windows that is going to be get 2.24 okay this is okay very latest version of get so you can download it from here as well and this is what i have downloaded you can look at this here so simply go ahead and save it I'm going to select Microsoft Windows desktop location like this you can change this to downloads or wherever you want to save it okay and then hit save like this so I already have downloaded one I'm not going to continue this download I'm simply going to cancel it now this is available on desktop so I'll take you screen to desktop and install it from there so here we are and this is the get the latest version of git for microsoft windows 10 go ahead and double click on it make sure you have privileges to install application on your system the another thing that you have this is by default i have not made any changes here you can change if you do not want if you can make changes in the recommend uh, the settings by clicking this link here but i have not made any changes so what you have to do if in case if you're getting this window simply click install anyway and then you will get user account control window say yes git for windows is going to be installed there are few steps that you want to follow along with me so say next and this is where it's getting from so you can look at this git for windows.org and say next and this is where this git is going to be installed 
so you can change the location if you wish to and then say next already exist no problem so so you can make some changes over here if you wish to then say next adding to the menu perfectly fine start menu folder say next uh, choose your default editor choice use vim as it gets a default editor perfectly fine since i do not have git on here i can use sublime text as it gets a default editor okay so that's what i have you can choose and change from here and then this is recommended git from command line also from third party software so perfect use open ssl library so perfectly fine check out windows style comet unix style line endings okay use min tty enable file system caching enable git credential manager enable symbolic links perfect enable experimental built-in add so this is a new thing if you do not want and they, these are the commands uh, if this is a completely experimental if you wish you can check this box otherwise leave it and then hit install now this is going to take some time a minute or so and once it's done it's going to do few new things that you haven't experienced before so let's go ahead and see that all right so it's been already installed now you can go ahead and launch the git bash uh, also view the release notes so i'm going to check this box and hit finish now this is a git bash and this is a release note okay so you can definitely go through it there are a lot of things uh, going on in this industry every day so you definitely want to check the release date if you want to keep up with new things changing okay to okay so there are a lot of new bug fixes here new features and bug fixes voila so that's it for this video now you can go ahead and uh, check the commands and it's working like it works on unix and linux so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any issue any question please leave in the comment section i try to answer it as soon as possible thank you so much again have a good day bye for now